In this video, we're going to focus on the local storage and how we can use that with charges to play around with data. And in here, what we're going to do here, we're going to just change the data and you will see that this has become more interesting once you start to understand how local storage works. Because what we're really doing is we're storing the data on a computer, in this case, and then we're going to retrieve that even though there's no more reference in there afterwards. So it will just keep it in mind or in on the computer and you can use it anytime you want. So let's start to explore how to do this. In this video, we're going to focus on how to use local storage with Charge.js. And the local storage is a very powerful tool where you can store basically data or information on a person's computer. However, I don't recommend this for sensitive data, but just basic information can be very useful. All right. So let's start to explore how we can do this. To do this, first of all, we need to get our default code. We can go to charges3.com, getting started. Let's scroll down here and get the chunk of code here. Once we copy this, and if you want to understand what this code does, make sure to watch this video here. So we're going to paste this in here. And once I paste it in here, I'm just going to cut out the title, put the title in there. All right, so now we're done, save this and refresh. And what I really want to do now, because we have our bar chart ready now, is to start to apply the local storage here, where we will change the data into something else. And basically, it will be stored in there, and what happens afterwards later on, if you refresh later on our data, the data will be still used or visible, even though we deleted it on the script or the code here. So this is very, very useful. You can think like Dropbox. Dropbox has the same structure where you store a file somewhere on your computer. But once you are online, it then starts to synchronize. And basically what it does here is, well, it's not exactly the same thing, but it will just grab the data and holds them on here. So let's start to look at this data here. And what we want to do is we want to replace the data with data stored in a local storage. To do this, we need to set basically a new variable here. So what I'm going to say here, local storage. And then we say dot set item. And the set item here is basically, or consists of two variables. First one would be the constant or the let value that you want. In this case, I'll just say here, data points. And then the next one would be a comma. And here we can make an array. Well, what is very important here, even though if it's an array, it will be automatically converted into a string. It is always a string. So if you use Boolean, it will not work as expected. So just put in a string value that you want. So I say, let's put in here one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. So now we have all of these. And basically what I want to do eventually is this data should be converted in this data here. And you might wonder where is a local storage really useful? Well, think about like dark mode, dark and light mode, where you don't want to really store it on a, on a database, but just keep it on the computer or on the users or for the user preferences on the computer, something like that. So what we can do here now is, first of all, what I want to do is once we set a data here, in this case, we have the data point here, we can do now a console log. And what I want to do now is to get the data. So what I'm going to say here, local storage dot get item. And here, this will be the reference with it, the new or the data points here. So if I save this now and refresh, open up developer tab, you can see here now it is shown. However, it is just a very basic string value here. So what I want to do now is just convert this. Well, to do this, what we need to do here is basically, if we want to convert it, what we really need to do is to split the data. So what I'm going to say here, but to make this easier, I'm going to make this a new constant. I'll say here it is constant, let's say here, data points equals this. This is always the get data, not the set. Set would mean to insert or store a value. This could be basically what you can see, the uh, key, and this is the value, so this key and value pair. So what I want to do here now is, I'm going to get the data points, and now I'll say hit the hot split. And basically what we do now is we're going to split the information here. So how are we going to split the data? Well, basically we're going to split it based on the comma here. So if I say here, comma, 
every item here will be converted from a text into an array value. So now, if I would do here a console.log, you will see here nicely. If I save that, refresh. All right, you can see that there's still a string, but they are now in an array structure. We can even confirm this by putting a table. Let's save that. You can see here now they are nicely with the index number and the value. All right. So luckily for ChartJS, they are very tolerant regarding to string values. It can still read them. So what we could do here, for example, let's copy this for now. We can put it in here. And now, oh, what I want to do is just to make sure I want to just comment this out. And then data, because we'll be using it later on, is put this in here. We'll put a comma here and then save that. So if I do this now, refresh, you can see you have one till seven. And what is very interesting now, if I would remove this, and I'll just keep everything else still in place, refresh, it is still being stored here. And this is quite nice. Because now, it just remembers items. All right. So what we could do here then, maybe you might say, this is all nice, but how do I remove that? Well, we can just do a local storage, and then we can say here, dot clear. And the moment we do this, what will happen is we're clearing out our local storage. If we save this here, refresh, all right, and if we do it again, there you are. So why the first time didn't work? Well, the reason for that is because we already start working with this, and the data points here are being stored already. So, and then afterwards it clears it out. So that will mean that this variable with the information here, or this constant with the information has been stored and saved. And then after it clears out the local storage, but this data point already have all the data here and split that data nicely. So if you want to avoid that, well, let me show you, we can do it like this. If I save that, refresh. All right, we have this now. And now if I just cut this out, put it in here, you will see that this Local storage will be blank. And here as well, this will not work at all. If I save this, refresh, and now we get an error, which is correct because the value is null. And null is basically number 53. Null here, why? Because we cleared out our storage so it doesn't find anything with the reference of data point. So now we have this. So what I want to do here, find was an if statement, because as I indicated before, an if statement is or sorry, here the if statement is based on a local storage, but the local storage data point is always a string, nothing else. So a lot of comparisons and Boolean comparisons are not, we are not able to do. So this is very important because if you don't know this, you will do it and then it will not work at all. So what I'm going to do here is the following. We're going to create an if statement here. And all I want to do in this if statement is only one thing. So let's remove this local storage clear. I don't want to clear out any data. And then in here, all I want to say is here to confirm, do, do we have anything with uh, basically this data point here, or we can even get the this one here, we get this. Does this exist? If it does exist, then in that case, I want to do a basic if statement here. So if, I'm going to say here, what I want to do here, let's see, we have this split data points, all right, so what I want to do then is, I want to say here, split data equals the data points dot split. What I will do here, of course, this will move. And then here, of course, our condition will be based on this with a comma. So once we have this, I will say here, this will be the let value. And if this is the case, now we have that, what I could do is even easier. I'm going to grade up here, or I'm going to put here a let with this, with, this, with a condition of this one, or equal to this. So the default value would be this, but if we have data points, which is a local storage variable, or a uh, local storage key value, if that exists, in that case, I would like to rename or readjust the split data with the data points and split basically did a one till seven. So if I save this now, and I'm going to remove all of this, I'm going to say here, split data. If I save that, refresh, there you are. All right, so this is working. But if I do this and save that, refresh, now we have a null value and it doesn't recognize it, and then we have this. And what is very interesting here, of course, is the following. So let's keep this still, let's remove this 
clear I'm going to even uh, save this refresh all right so this is all fine then of course here clear out this one save that again there you are so you can see here even though we have no value except for this split data the memory here recognizes it and you can even do it like this if I would say here data points let's do console all save that there you are so it grabs the data it recognizes the data and we can even change this again let's we can just set this let's put it on 10 save there we are so this is how we can play with the local storage of course there's more useful feature than just only this because this is not really a practical feature but there is another one I would highly recommend you if you're interested to check out the introduction of the Tailwind CSS with Chart.js where you can play around with it a bit more. Well, here it will be an introduction, but you can imagine with Tailwind, we have like the dark and uh, light feature or the dark and uh, day feature. And then it just becomes very, very useful.